Yo, what's good with your YouTube? Hope you're doing good, hope you're blessed, hope you're on your purpose, and hope you get into a bag. Um, I ain't gonna make this video too long, but it's gotta be that, man. It's a breaking point. As you can tell by the title, it's a breaking point. It's a breaking point that's gonna come in your life when you're on this journey of self-improvement, of becoming your best version, um, to where you just, you can't take it no more. You feel me? Like, if you really want something in life, whatever it may be, whether this is in business, with your finances, or relationships, or your fitness and health, um, you really want something in life, and you're constantly thinking about that thing, it's only going to be a matter of time until you get so frustrated with your current situation that it propels you to grow. It's only going to be a matter of time before you get so frustrated with your situation that it's going to force you to grow. And that's what we call the breaking point. The point of no return. The point of it has to work or it has to work. The point where you just fed up and you don't care how long it takes and you just start your marathon. You just start running. You, you start running. You got a destination in mind and you just start running. You don't stop. You do it every day. You do it every day because you just you just want to get there so bad, but you know it's gonna take uh, pacing yourself. It's gonna I mean worth the nip, you know. Run your before you run your waist, you gotta find your pace. It's gonna take pacing yourself to get where you want to go. But at that breaking point time, that's when you gonna start, and you ain't gonna stop. You just gonna keep going. You gonna push yourself. You gonna run a little harder some days. You gonna take the gas off some days, but you gonna keep moving. And that's the point, man. That's the point we got to reach in all these aspects of life, right? Like, me personally, uh, it came to that with my fitness, right? I was tired of being skinny, bro. Like, I was tired of this shit. I was tired of feeling weak. I was tired of not, you know, feeling confident in my body and taking my shirt off and feeling, you know, weak and things like that, right? So it just came to that breaking point. And, uh, you know, uh, as men, sometimes it's going to have to do with women. You know, a lot of the times, actually. Here, let me try to adjust that a little bit. Get a little bit on the shade. But, yeah, a lot of the times, sometimes it's going to deal with women. And that's usually sometimes our breaking point. But I think that we should try to find that breaking point within ourselves and just really want to grow for ourselves. But whatever it takes to do that, to get to that breaking point, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to take that. You got to sit in that uh, that feeling. So, like, me, I've, I think I've told this story before on my channel, but, you know, it came to the point where a girl that I was talking to at the time, she uh, basically, like, clowning me with her friends, trying to say that I'm skinny, had a bird chest or whatever like that. And her friend had posted something. She had, like, retweeted it laughing and shit. And I just seen that, and I'm just like, got me fucked up. And it just, it, it, it be that sometimes where things just be having you fucked up. The world just be having you fucked up. So you got to, it's just the breaking point where you tired of that shit. You sick and tired of being sick and tired. And you are willing to do whatever it takes to, to get to where you want to be. From that day forward, or when that, when that happened, when I reached that breaking point, uh, New Year's on 2018, I was in the gym consistently. I've been in the gym consistently since then. It ain't stopped. I started with four days a week to pace myself, worked on my way up to five days, worked my way up to six days, and I've been doing six days for the last, like, two years straight. And, you know, there may be days I, I, I don't go, but I don't really, I, I rarely let one missed day turn into two, and if I miss a day at that, I probably missed a total of less than five days this whole year. Honestly, like, I really think about it. It's like, you know, it's, you know, after a while, it's going to become habit, right? So that, that, that factors into play too. But in that first initial stages, it's going to take that breaking point. It's going to take that pain that you feeling inside to get to that next level. So like right now, it's kind of like that for me, which is business and finances and entrepreneurship, right? I've been at this entrepreneurship since 018, you feel me? I've been, um, had a Facebook ads agency that didn't work out too good. I was helping uh, gyms. And then I went to helping e-commerce stores, and then I now I'm doing high-ticket sales, um, and also personal training and um, training programs and different things like that. So it's like, 
you know, I've been at this for a minute and I I know that I can be to the next level in it, right? It's that too. It's like you know what it takes and you just have to do it. You know? That's the breaking point where it's going to come. Like you know that all you have to do is go get in the gym and eat better or eat more if you're trying to gain weight, eat less if you're trying to lose. You know, YouTube is free. Google's free. All the resources on how to do whatever you're trying to do is out there. Fitness, out there. You know, wealth, tap in. It's so many people that make side hustle videos and all this type of shit on YouTube and TikTok and all these different things. Tap in. Pick one. Run your lane, you know. Don't second guess yourself. If some of y'all are trying to get right with God and get right with your mental and get right with your spiritual, I'm glad I tackled that first in my life. You know, I be uh, listening to people. Um, that have the wealth, and they're, now they're kind of like, but now I'm looking for the meaning of life and all this different type of stuff. And I was listening to a, a space on Twitter. It's kind of like Clubhouse, but it's Twitter spaces. And uh, dude was talking about, yeah, I've amassed all this wealth at 21. You know, I'm pretty much set. I know how to make money. I have the skills necessary. I'll probably never be broke again, right? But then he said something so profound and hit me. He was like, but now I'm trying to find the meaning of life. And, you know, I feel like I'm going to be doing that for the next, you know, 10, 15, 20 years. It's just trying to figure out what's the meaning behind this whole thing. And I, I, I thank God that I've had the I've been blessed to have the opportunity to uh, invest heavily into my spiritual and mental health early and really made that a priority first and uh, getting right with God and understanding wisdom and understanding my belief system, right? My belief system, you know, it might not be correct to everybody, but it's correct to me. So, and it makes me feel good at the end of the day. And, you know, so, you know, I'm just blessed to be able to say I've did that. So a lot of y'all are trying to do that as well. It's going to take you being too fed up or being depressed and having all these questions me i think mine stem from being so curious like i had an insatiable curiosity that like it couldn't be quenched like i was just so curious about this world especially once you start waking up to the matrix and you start seeing the falsehood and everything you really want to get to the bottom of these rabbit holes and so i just had that ins- insatiable curiosity where i just wanted to go deeper and deeper and deeper in all these different topics right so you know it might it might get to that point for you to where you're like Man, I just got to understand this stuff, and the answers are out there. I think that's, you know, a big takeaway I want y'all to get from this video is, like, anything you want to know, anything you want to learn, it's out there. It's just going to take you getting to that breaking point to want to go to the next level so bad in any aspect of life that's going to push you and propel you to go there. You know, nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to help you out. It's, it's you. You came in this world alone, and you're going to leave this world alone in your casket. You know, it's up to you to figure it out. It's up to you to reach your goals. It's up to you to get everything you want. And if you don't, you're going to regret it later because you knew how to do it. And really, right now, it's no excuses, you know. In the past, maybe it might have been excuses because we didn't have the Internet. And, you know, it might have been harder for people in a situation. But if you have access to Internet and a phone in your hand right now or computer or however you're watching this video, there's no excuses, bro. It's no excuses. You just got to figure out how to do it. You know, and everybody's blessed with different gifts. Everybody has different strengths and weaknesses. And that's where the self-awareness factor comes in of, uh, you know, once you get to this breaking point, how do you go forward? How, what's the best route? What do you need to, you know, that's when you need to know your strengths and weaknesses. Me, like I said, one of my strengths is I had this insatiable curiosity. You know, I'm curious. I want to I wanna know shit. I, I, I pick up on things quickly. I learn quickly and all these different type of things, right? But my weakness is discipline. My weakness is work ethic. My weakness is uh, sometimes not being as uh, as resilient and uh, staying the path as long as I should and different things like that, you know. But I know that about myself, right? So now I can take the necessary steps and precautions to, to fix that in myself. And, you know, sometimes the answer you get is not the answer you want to hear or it's not the easy answer or anything like that. And I don't want to get it misconstrued by thinking it's going to be easy once you know the answer. <laughs> Shit, life ain't easy, B. If you ain't figured that out by now, I don't know. You're going to figure it out sooner or later. Life ain't easy, but it's simple. So, you know, after I figured out that of myself, you know, what's the necessary steps to building this discipline muscle? It's doing the same shit every day. 
And one of the best ways to build discipline, as a man at least, is semen retention because you're holding, you're consciously holding your seed every day. So even though you're not doing something every day, like say going to the gym, which is also a great way to build discipline, which I've developed and has got my work at the higher than what it was in the past. Like I used to be super lazy, just lay in bed all day, smoke weed, watch TV, and that's it, you know. But now, you know, I'm still not where I want to be as far as my discipline work ethic levels. But I probably will never be there. You know, that's part of being a, uh, you know, striving for greatness and striving for excellence is you're never going to really reach your ideal. But it's the fun and the pursuit anyway. It's the journey anyway uh, of trying to reach that ideal. That's the the fun part of the, the growth, you know, aspect. So back to what I was saying, you know, now I know that you know, seam attention is a great uh, discipline. Not only is it going to give you the health benefits to be able to accomplish it, the energy, the focus, all the benefits of literally holding your seed, but also just the aspect of mentally, consciously holding your seed every day. You know, not too many people can do that because it's hard, you know. <laughs> hard shit builds discipline, right? So a lot of people that have discipline naturally is not really natural. It's just they've been blessed to have the parents to instill it at a young age because we got to know that we've been programmed um, since a young age to believe kind of whatever the person that taught us or uh, raised us uh, belief system was. So, you know, if you grew up with a super strict household and, um, you know, athlete or something like that to where you were conditioned from a young age to do hard things, then it's going to be easier as you grow up. Right. It's just like, you know, with anything if you were conditioned as a child to believe that you can do anything as you get older you won't have a self-belief problem like I don't have a self-belief problem I you know I I had to really you know and this just takes meditation and going within and figuring out yourself your strengths and weaknesses but that's another one of my strengths thank God to my mom you know I don't have a self-belief problem I think I can do anything I've always thought I can do anything I've always had that uh belief in myself now confidence that's a different story confidence is keeping the promises you make to yourself and trusting yourself and being uh committed to yourself i've always had a confidence issue right like even on my old report cards the teachers will put he knows the answer sometimes but he just has to always get validation from me you know it's it's good to tap into how you were as a kid and just keep these conditions so then you can consciously go about trying to break it now that i know i have a confidence issue i can go about fixing that confidence issue and fixing that confidence issue just keeps keeping the promises you make to yourself and getting better as you get better you'll be more confident in yourself naturally belief it's a whole different story i always think i can do it (laughs) which is why i'm doing it you know some people have a belief issue to where they don't think they can do certain stuff because they've been told oh we don't and it's a big common issue you know in the black community it's like oh we've been told oh we can't do that you know, that's for that's for white people or that's for a certain demographic of people. That's not you. You can't do that. You're not this. Who do you think you are? You know, but we got to we got to after you realize that that's something you're suffering with, you know, don't complain about it. Don't blame your parents. They're just suffering off the condition that they have. You know, don't. It's nothing external, you know, that's just the test. or That's just the, the, tr- the trials that God has given you in this lifetime. Right. Like. You know, I have to battle this my whole life because it's been a preconditioned weakness of mine. When the ages one to seven, you're the most susceptible to information. After seven, you know, you're locked into some of those conditions that you were taught, which is why it's important as we grow and mature into parents and things to instill positive self affirmations into our kids um, in those crucial ages. Right. So that they can be greater than we what we are, you know, and that's how we push society and humanity forward. That's a different convo, though. Anyway, this video is going on a little too long. 14 minutes. But the moral of the story, man, it's going to take that breaking point. Once you reach that breaking point to where enough is enough, seek the information you need to get better. Once you seek that information you need to get better, start your marathon. You know, and that goes another thing with me. You know, I've had, like I said, I'm curious. So I've known this stuff, but implementing is a whole different thing. It takes... Wisdom is implementation. Knowledge is knowledge. Knowledge is not the the low all be all. That's not the fucking goal. You know, wisdom is the goal. Application through understanding. You know, once you have the knowledge, then you apply that knowledge. And now you have a result to prove that the knowledge that you thought was true is true. That's wisdom. You know, 
that's why I can speak about certain things like health wise, health, physical health. I feel great. I look great. You know, cool. I could talk about that a little bit. What I did in the gym, what I did uh, for food and stuff like that. Mental health. I'm happy all the time. Like I'm at peace for real. Like I'm not happy all the time. Nobody's happy all the time. I mean, I sell y'all a dream, but I'm at peace for the most part and I feel aligned and I think that's what we should chase anyway. So peace and alignment. So like I, I feel I can talk about that and help people get through their trials. Finances. I think I have a whole fucking idea of how to make a billion dollars in my head, but I don't feel comfortable talking about how to make a billion dollars because I ain't had a successful business yet. You know, I could tell you how to build a successful business, but I ain't had a successful business. So what the fuck am I talking about? You know, and that's why I try to stray away from stuff like that. Now, I'm going to go build a successful business and come back with the business content, you know, and then I'm going to go find me a successful relationship and come back with the relationship content. But don't listen to nobody that's trying to preach you something that they ain't did before. You know, I need proof. I need receipts. I need results. That's wisdom. That's when you know somebody really know they shit. So. You know, get to the breaking point and whatever you need to in your life, whatever it takes. You know, if you have to if you have to force yourself to find that breaking point, if you have to go get rejected by 20 girls today just to realize that you need to work on your looks or you need to work on your body, then go do that. If you need to look at yourself in the mirror and go fucking stand outside or take a picture and post it on Instagram to feel embarrassed to reach your breaking point, do that. Whatever you got to do to reach that breaking point because... Everything after that breaking point is so beautiful. It's growth. It's, it's transformation. It's, um, it's the next level. It's the becoming your best version. It's becoming in general. It's getting better. And that's what we fucking here for. Let's grow. Let's live. Let's love. Let's laugh a little bit too. This should be funny. Catch y'all on the next vid. Hope y'all have a great, what's today, Friday, Saturday? Hope y'all have a great weekend. And next week. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.